I wrote the song, Shout. Yeah, you know you make me want to shout. Woo. Woo. In the world of music, legends rise and fall. Their stories often filled with unexpected twists and turns. Today, we bring you a tale that spans decades, a journey of triumph, tribulation, and the enduring spirit of one man. This is the story of Ron Isley, a name that once resonated with Motown glory but found itself echoing through the darkest alleys of life. But just how did Ron Easley go from the pinnacle of success to the depths of despair? In this video, we will navigate through the highs and lows of his life, revealing the shocking truths and the incredible resilience that define this remarkable story. Prepare to be captivated by a narrative that takes you from Motown's stage to the unforgiving walls of prison and beyond. Join us as we unravel the captivating journey of Ron Isley, a man who faced the ultimate test of his character and emerged on the other side, forever changed. Ron Isley, the iconic voice behind the Isley brothers, had once enjoyed the lavish lifestyle that fame and fortune could offer. His velvety vocals had graced countless hit songs, making him a household name in the music industry. But, as fate would have it, the man who once sang his way into our hearts found himself in the midst of a financial storm that would shake the very foundation of his world. It all began when Ron's wealth, which had been substantial during the peak of his career, dwindled at an alarming rate. His luxurious homes and prized possessions slipped through his fingers like sand. The question on everyone's lips was, how did this happen? As a result of extravagant spending and financial mismanagement, Ron Isley's fortune began to crumble. Lavish parties, designer wardrobes, and a lifestyle fit for royalty had taken their toll. But perhaps the most significant blow came in the form of unpaid taxes, which had piled up over the years. Because of that, the IRS came knocking, and they were not willing to turn a blind eye to the outstanding debts. Despite his fame, Ron was not exempt from the long arm of the law. The tax evasion charges were serious, and they would lead him down a dark path that would ultimately land him behind bars. In the end, it was a courtroom where the consequences of his financial choices became shockingly real. The singer was sentenced to prison for tax evasion. It was a fall from grace that few could have predicted during his days as a chart-topping artist. The music world watched in disbelief as one of its most celebrated voices found himself facing the harsh reality of life behind bars. The golden years of Motown seemed like a distant memory, replaced by a harsh new chapter in Ron's life. Shifting focus from Ron's financial hardships to his remarkable career. Enter a world where music reigned supreme and the Isley brothers were its undisputed rulers. It was a time when Motown Records was the epicenter of soulful melodies, and the Isley Brothers, with their unmistakable harmonies, stood tall among the giants of the industry. Interestingly, the journey of the Isley Brothers began long before they became a household name. Ronald, Rudolph, and O'Kelly Isley Jr. formed the group in Cincinnati, Ohio, in the 1950s. Little did they know that their journey would lead them to the heart of Motown's soulful revolution. Motown Records, the legendary Detroit-based label, had become synonymous with the sound of young America. It was the home of musical legends and the Isley Brothers' unique sound was destined to be part of that legacy. Their first taste of success came with the release of Shout in 1959, a song that would forever be etched in the annals of music history. Its infectious energy and the Isley Brothers' electrifying performance on stage catapulted them to stardom. They continued to produce hits that defined an era, twist and shout, and This Old Heart of Mine became anthems of a generation, each song carrying the unmistakable Isley Brothers' signature style. Their music was a fusion of gospel, 
R&B, and rock and roll that resonated with audiences of all backgrounds. Eventually, their collaboration with Motown's legendary songwriting and producing team, Holland Dozier Holland, led to a string of chart toppers. Hits like This Old Heart of Mine is Weak for You and I Guess I'll Always Love You solidified their status as Motown royalty. As the 1960s gave way to the 1970s, the Isley Brothers' music continued to evolve. They embraced funk and psychedelic influences, releasing albums like 3 Plus 3 that showcased their versatility and innovation. Their reinvention in the funk era ensured their music remained relevant and resonant with new generations. And just like that, the Isley Brothers had become a force to be reckoned with, not just in the United States, but across the globe. Their timeless melodies and charismatic performances had transcended borders, making them international music icons. In the soulful tapestry of music, the Isley Brothers carved a niche that was uniquely their own. Their harmonies, rhythms, and lyrical depth created a sonic landscape that would forever be associated with the essence of rhythm and blues. The group's legacy in Ramp B and soul music is a testament to their artistry and innovation. While their Motown years had solidified their place in music history, the brothers were far from content with resting on their laurels. Their desire to push boundaries and explore new sonic territories led to a series of soulful masterpieces. Ron Isley's silky smooth vocals were at the forefront of these musical explorations. His voice had the power to convey both vulnerability and strength, making each lyric resonate with deep emotion. It was a voice that could move audiences to tears and inspire them to dance, sometimes within the same song. Notably, their 1973 album, 3 Plus 3, marked a significant turning point. The inclusion of younger members of the family, including Ernie Isley, brought fresh energy and a new dimension to their music. This album showcased a fusion of rock, funk, and R&B, creating a sound that was both innovative and infectious. Songs like That Lady and Summer Breeze became anthems of a generation, the Isley Brothers' ability to infuse soulful melodies with intricate guitar work and captivating arrangements set them apart as true musical visionaries. Expectedly, their influence extended far beyond the boundaries of their own songs. Countless artists, from rock legends to contemporary R&B stars, have cited the Isley Brothers as a source of inspiration. Their impact on the music industry cannot be overstated as they continued to redefine what was possible within the realms of soul and R&PB. Moreover, their performances on stage were nothing short of electrifying. Ron's charismatic presence, coupled with his distinctive voice, made every live show an unforgettable experience. Their concerts were a testament to the power of music to transcend barriers and unite audiences in a shared celebration of sound. In the world of R&B and soul, the Isley Brothers had become not just musicians but ambassadors of a genre. Their ability to touch hearts and move souls through their music solidified their place as true legends of the art form. But behind the fame, the music, and the spotlight lie the personal stories of the Isley Brothers. Individuals whose lives were as diverse and fascinating as the melodies they crafted. Ron Isley, the smooth and charismatic frontman of the group, had a life story that was both intriguing and tumultuous. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio, he grew up with music as a constant companion. His early experiences in gospel choirs laid the foundation for his remarkable vocal talent. Because of his family's deep musical roots, Ron and his brothers were destined for a life in music. Their harmonious voices were honed through years of practice and a shared passion for creating beautiful melodies. But Ron's journey was not without its challenges. His rise to fame brought with it the complexities of stardom. The pressures of the music industry sometimes took a toll on his personal life. The demands of touring and the allure of the spotlight could strain relationships and test family bonds. Soon, 
Ron's life story became intertwined with the music itself. His experiences, both joyful and challenging, found expression in the lyrics and melodies of the songs he sang. It was a deeply personal connection that resonated with audiences around the world. Not long after, the Isley brothers became more than just a musical act. They were storytellers who used their art to convey the joys and sorrows of life. Their ability to connect on a profound level with their listeners was a testament to the authenticity of their music. But Ron's personal journey was just one part of the larger tapestry of the Isley Brothers story. The group's members, each with their unique backgrounds and personalities, contributed to the rich tapestry of their music. Rudolph and O'Kelly Isley Jr., along with other family members, played integral roles in shaping the Isley Brothers' sound. Their harmonies were not just a result of musical chemistry, they were a reflection of the deep bonds of brotherhood. As you may be aware, in the world of music, disputes over band names and trademarks are not uncommon. But when it involves a legendary group like the Isley Brothers, the stakes are higher and the legal battles become headline news. In the following years, the Isley Brothers found themselves embroiled in a legal battle over the use of their own name. It was a dispute that sent shockwaves through the music industry and raised questions about the ownership of a brand that had been synonymous with soulful music for decades. Eventually, it became clear that the Isley Brothers were not just fighting for control of their name. They were battling to protect their musical legacy. The crux of the issue lay in the rights to the Isley Brothers trademark, a name that had become iconic in the world of r and because of this legal dispute, the Musical Brothers faced a challenging dilemma. On one side, Ron Isley and his family, who had carried the legacy forward, wanted to retain control of the name. On the other side, former members of the group also laid claim to the trademark. With no one willing to back down, the legal battle raged on, with both parties vying for the right to use the name in their respective endeavors. It was a complex and emotionally charged situation as the Isley Brothers' legacy hung in the balance. Ultimately, the courts would have to decide the fate of the trademark. The outcome of this legal struggle would shape not only the future of the Isley Brothers, but also the way trademark disputes are resolved in the music industry. Moreover, the legal battle served as a reminder of the intricate web of contracts, agreements, and disputes that often accompany a career in music. It was a stark contrast to the harmonious melodies that the Isley Brothers had created over the years. Ron's life had taken unexpected turns, from the heights of musical stardom to the depths of financial ruin and incarceration. But as the saying goes, it's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you rise. After the saga, the singer sparked on an incredible journey as he embarked on a path to rebuild his life. Ron's resilience in the face of adversity was nothing short of remarkable. While his time behind bars could have been a breaking point, he used it as an opportunity for introspection and transformation. And just like that, the man known for his soulful crooning found himself in an environment far removed from the music industry. Expectedly, he had to adapt to the challenges of prison life, but his spirit remained unbroken. He channeled his experiences into his art, composing songs and lyrics that reflected his newfound perspective on life. Because of his time in prison, Ron emerged with a renewed sense of purpose. He was determined to rebuild his career and his life from the ground up. The world had seen him at his lowest, but he was not content with that being the final chapter of his story. Soon after, he returned to the stage with a fervor that astonished audiences. His performances, now infused with the depth of his life experiences, resonated on a profound level. Fans who had known him for his chart-topping hits now saw a man who had faced his demons and emerged stronger. His journey was a testament to the power of music as a source of healing and redemption. His songs became anthems of resilience, inspiring others to overcome their own challenges. His life had come full circle, from the heights of fame to the depths of despair and back to the pinnacle of success. But the singer's story was not just about personal redemption. 
It was also about the enduring bonds of family. The Isley brothers, despite the disputes and legal battles, remained united in their love for music. Their shared passion continued to drive them forward, ensuring that the legacy of their music lived on. Luckily for him, Ron's comeback was met with admiration and support from both fans and fellow musicians. The music industry recognized the significance of his journey and the impact of his music. Ultimately, Ron Isley's life story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can find the strength to overcome. His journey from financial hardship and imprisonment to a triumphant return to the stage serves as an inspiration to anyone facing challenges. In the end, the Isley Brothers' music has left an indelible mark on the world of R&B and soul. Their harmonious melodies and soulful soundscapes continue to resonate with audiences of all ages. Songs like Shout and That Lady remain timeless classics that bring joy to generations. Therefore, the Musical Brothers' legacy extends far beyond their chart-topping hits. It's a legacy of authenticity, creativity, and the unwavering pursuit of musical excellence. Their ability to connect with audiences on a deep emotional level has cemented their place as icons of soul and R&B. Their story is also a testament to the enduring bonds of family. Despite the disputes and legal battles, their shared passion for music kept them united. It's a reminder that family ties can weather even the most challenging storms. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.